Dave? Hey, Lord. You here early because you're pitching today? Yeah. What you doing? Counting the stitches on the baseball. <laughs> Why? I just do it before every start. Why? <laughs> kind of a superstition I have. Does it help you pitch better? That's the idea, yeah. <laughs> did, did you do it before your last start? <laughs> yeah. Because you really got hammered. I remember. Well, imagine if you hadn't counted all those stitches. <laughs> you know, Lloyd, um, sometimes I just kind of like to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice, isn't it? I sign your cast, and I have to sign everybody's cast. Now, would you rather me sign cast all day or play ball? Play ball. Okay, then. <laughs> Tough being a role model, huh? It really is. I mean, every time I go anywhere, it's Frank, you're my hero. Frank, you're the greatest. Frank, sleep with me. No, Frank, sleep with me. Shut up. Frank, Frank, where are you going? You're receiving an award in two minutes. What award? Outstanding Christian athlete. Yeah, it's about time I won the Christie. Since when are you religious? I am deeply religious. Is there any cash involved? Just make sure you bring a Christian butt back here in two minutes. I'll be here. Hey, Frank, come here, come here. Okay, Mike, tell them what you just told me. That's between us married guys. Eh? No, no, no. This is big news. Well, what's up, Mike? Come on. Yeah, what's the big deal? My wife and I made love last night. <laughs> Man, I'm never getting married. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's more to the story. After we're finished, Carol turns on the TV, and it's the Beverly Hillbillies. You know the one where uh, Jethro's going to be an astronaut? I hate how every TV show has to have a dumb character. <laughs> So, anyway, the wife and I start laughing. Frank! Frank! The award. Yeah, I'll be right there. We'll make it snappy. His eminence is waiting. <laughs> what happened? Well, anyway, we're laughing, laughing, ba beep ba ba One thing leads to another. And next thing you know, Grant is waving goodbye. <laughs> you, Mike Widmer, made love twice in one night? When was the last time? Junior high. But I was alone in my bunk bed. Good for you, Mike. You're stunned, man, Mikey. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Did I say the end? Again? <laughs> Get out of here! Hey! <laughs> hey, don't tell my wife what you did. She'd say, well, you can do it if that fat old Mike Widmer can. Hey. Hey, I didn't say it. She did. I think you're very slim. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Mike made love to his wife three times last night. No kidding. Hello. 
of the fans. Look at you! Your butt's so big, it's got its own zip code! Hey, shut up! That's my husband you're talking about! Oh, yeah? Well, your husband can't hit his weight! Yeah, well, Ty Cobb couldn't hit your weight! Now, Maddie, the catcher, Mike Whitmer! Poor Mike. What? Poor Mike. I feel like booing him myself. He hasn't hit one out of the infield in a week. That's not true. In Boston, he hit a long foul. Oh, you be sure and mention that at his retirement party. <laughs> hey, Whitmer! You hit as bad as Logan! I'm a pitcher. You could have fooled me! <laughs> Mike, you ever hit three home runs in a game before? Not in fast pitch. <laughs> hey, Lee, come here, look at this. What? Unspoiled beach, palm trees, an island paradise, all to myself. You going there on vacation? No, nah, I'm gonna buy the whole island. Why are you buying an island? Why do you buy a dress? I need it. People need kidneys, no one needs an island. Well, I do. You don't know what it's like being me. Good game, Frank. Yeah, thanks. See what I have to put up with? <laughs> Mike, what the hell happened to you out there today? Did you bribe the opposing pitcher? Because if you did, keep the receipt. The club will reimburse you. <laughs> Can't explain it, Hap. I didn't do anything different. Yes, you did. You did something different last night. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Talk about what? What? What, 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 what? It's personal, Hap. Huh? What is so personal that you can't tell your best friend? When did you become my best friend? When you hit that third home run. Now, come on, spill. Carol and I had sex three times last night. Okay. Okay. So you had sex three times last night, and then you went out and hit three home runs. I want you to go home tonight and have sex 20 times. That's ridiculous. You're right. You're right. You'll probably only get five or six at bats. Happy, it's got to be three. He's got to do it exactly the same way he did last night. Right. Right. I want you to go right home to Carol and make sweet, sweet love. Carol is your wife, right? You two should meet. You being my best friend and all. I'm used to this superstitious stuff from Dave, but you two have. Oh, come on, Mike. Superstitions are a means by which we can gain psychological control over this most random and difficult of games. So I want you to go home now and make repetitive love to your wife and keep doing it until you stop hitting. Every night? Yes. Think of the team. It works better when I think of Cindy Crawford. <laughs> oh, yeah? Great. <laughs> All right. Party at my island. I just closed the deal. <laughs> so, uh, what's an island run you these days? Four mil. Four million dollars? Yeah, there's been a lot of tidal waves. It's a buyer's market. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Totally deserted island. I can run around naked, do whatever I want. Sounds like Grandma's house. <laughs> Till the county cracked down. Frank, aren't you gonna be lonely? Well, you don't have to fish for an invitation. You're invited. No, thanks. Come on, you wear a clamshell bikini just like the Little Mermaid? <laughs> what grown man finds a Little Mermaid sexy? <laughs> I hear about you buying an island? Yeah, I bought it from France. Apparently, they couldn't afford the upkeep. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to going there. You know, getting a little privacy, getting back in touch with nature. What's the first thing you're going to do there? I'm going to take a chainsaw to the place, just... <laughs> I'm going to build a giant racetrack for me and my pals. We're going to drive through the jungle as fast as we want, with no cops. But if you hit a monkey, you lose a lap. Thanks, Frank. Hey, Logan, what's the word? Did Whitmer hit the trifecta last night? Well, I call his house, I got the machine. Well, th th that could be a good sign. That could mean he was home but occupied, or it could mean that they went to a motel. What do you think? 
I don't think we have enough evidence to figure that out. What kind of an attitude is that? If you worked for the Washington Post, Nixon would still be president. Nixon is dead. Oh, that you have all the information on. Everyone says this game is so hard. Pitcher throws the ball. You hit it. No mystery. <laughs> Sir, Carol, mind you going for another three for? Mind? Dave, I have unleashed a tigress. I barely got in the door last night. She's peeling me like a banana. <laughs> so Carol doesn't know you're doing it to keep your hitting streak going, huh? Nah. Well, just keep doing it till my next start. At my age, I need every win I can get. <laughs> at your age, you need every breath you can get. <laughs> They've been living there for thousands of years. Well, life's tough. Things change. Tell them to pack up their canoes and scram. They're trespassing. Frank, you can't make them leave. I mean, when Kim Basinger bought that town in Georgia, she let the people stay. She also slept with Prince. <laughs> yeah. When I bought this island from the French government, nobody said anything about people. Listen, Castro, it's not like moving into a new house and changing the light fixtures. This has to be handled delicately. Yellow French consulate? Bonjour yourself. Listen, next time somebody invades your cheese-eating, wine-swilling stinkhole of a country, don't come crying to the USA. You forgot to mention they love Jerry Lewis. That eh, bit's way overdone. <laughs> my favorite player to do his funky thing. <laughs> Mike, you're on deck. <laughs> Mike? I'm not asleep. I really want you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. We'll discuss it after you hit. more fun sitting with the other wives now that you're actually hitting the ball. I was getting tired of running to the bathroom every time you were on deck. I'm glad you're proud of me, honey. And the field's not the only place you've been scoring. <laughs> These guys knew what we've been doing every night. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Mike, introduce me to your charming wife. Happy Talbot, our manager, Carol Widmer. Hello. You know, you are even prettier than Mike said. If I was married to a peach like this, I wouldn't be here in some crowded bar. 
I'd be cuddling in front of a fireplace. Oh, what a sweet thought. <laughs> We're just gonna finish our drinks, Hap. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, you know, I just happened to find this uh, cassette in my pocket, Barry White's Greatest Hits. <laughs> I have no use for it. Uh, perhaps you do. Well, he's a queer duck. <laughs> Managers are under a lot of pressure. What are we talking about? Oh, yes. It's so exciting to know that you still feel passionate about me. Hey, come on. You be the gal. <laughs> it's like our sex life is this wonderful secret that just the two of us share. <laughs> is he on some kind of medication? I don't know. Come on, puppy. I can't wait to get you home. You know, I just ordered these two dozen oysters, and I said to myself, Happy, you're just not as hungry as you thought you were. <laughs> we'll take them to go. I like the way you think. Hey, Logan, how's the arm? It's fine. I just wish Mike would get here. Oh, don't you worry about Whitmer. He is a team player. Joe Sunga. This is supposed to be it? Yes, and these are the simple huts we call home. <sighs> Look, man, I've been thinking, if you guys really want to stay, I'm sure we can work out some kind of rent. Be used for money, like coconuts or shells or something. <laughs> oh, we use money. In fact, I wanted to talk to you about that. We've been trying to attract tourists to our island, so when you bought it, we naturally saw an opportunity for some free publicity. <laughs> so what all this picketing is about? Thanks to you, the media's been calling me a psycho. Yes, but those same stories have been describing your island as an unspoiled tropical paradise. People will want to go to such a place. And once they're there, they'll need beds to sleep in, restaurants to eat in, and most importantly, a casino to gamble in. Hey, <laughs> in exchange for your name, we'd offer you 10% of the gross profits. Can you throw in the entire top floor of the hotel? It's a deal. Yeah, I like a little privacy. <laughs> That's Mike Whitmer's second pass ball of the game, and it allows a go-ahead run to score. Add in three strikeouts, and it's been a long evening for the Whitman. Sorry, Dave, I'm stinking up the joint. Yeah, why couldn't your streak have ended when somebody else was pitching? <laughs> Look, Dave, I got a confession to make. I only hit a double last night. What? <laughs> Happy? Get out of here. Look, I tried everything. I talked to it, reasoned with it. He even showed us some of his favorite movies, nothing. Tell us, what's up? Mike only had sex twice last night. What were you thinking? <laughs> Call you and Mike. Get her down here. She's right here, over there. <laughs> Carol? All right, look. Here is the key to my office. As soon as we get out of this inning, you know what to do. In your office? Just do it! <laughs> Mike, are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why'd your strange manager drag me down here? I just wanted to see you. Don't you have to bat? <laughs> can wait. Everything can wait. Except for romance. What are you doing? Just being spontaneous. Well, you're all sweaty. Get off me, you big ox. Did a ball hit you in the head? Can a guy get romantic with his wife? In the middle of a game? Love knows no clock. Michael, what's going on? I got something to tell you. Where's your batter, Happy? Oh, the, uh, uh, oh, the batter. Yeah, he, uh, broke the shoelace. <laughs> he should be out soon. <laughs> streak! Huh? Oh, streak the world with your blood! How dare you tell those apes about our love life! <laughs> 
It just slipped out. Like this bat's gonna slip out of my hands? Cookie, please, please. I wasn't just doing it for the streak. I really enjoyed it, too. It, it, it reminded me just how sexy and hot and beautiful you really are. Oh, really? Honest. Now, please, put down the bat. <laughs> Kick it over here. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't bludgeon me, baby. <laughs> Come on, cowboy. You know, there is a couch. <laughs> Let's play ball. You're the luckiest man in the world. Wanna rub me for luck? <laughs> you love it. 